What makes a movie the year's best picture? Nine films were nominated by the Academy in 2016 before La La Land. Sorry, no, there's a, this, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won best picture. Moonlight emerged as the winner. Among the other nominees were Arrival, Hacksaw Ridge, Fences, Hell or High Water, Hidden Figures, La La Land, Manchester by the Sea, and Lion. This collection of nominations is narrowed down from a 34 page list of eligible films from 2016. Academy members are sent this list and told to choose the top five best films from 2016. The votes are then tallied and the nominees are decided upon based on that initial round of voting. Then the Academy members are sent another ballot to choose the winner for that category, particularly best picture. Oh, and there aren't any special instructions for Academy members to consider when they cast their vote. The entire process is subjective, but that's okay, because it's art. So, each of these films could have won Best Picture, but what is it that makes any single picture the best for the year? Everyone has a different metric that they do this by, um, whether or not they like a movie. And if you stand outside a movie theater, you can hear this in people's conversations. However, I think there are some common trends. The films that challenge are the films that win. They challenge the audience to think, to feel, to ask questions, to challenge an idea. They, they push us forward. They make us uncomfortable. They, they move you. They get you talking. A great film is something that you leave the theater and maybe you're not quite sure what you saw but you're still talking about it days, weeks, months, maybe even years later. And in the cases of a lot of great films, we're still talking about them decades and decades later because they challenge us, because they force us to ask questions that maybe we're not comfortable asking. Great films also challenge artistic conventions. They push the form, they realize their medium, and they move forward with it. They're incredible and, crucially, they're built around a story, something that's meaningful to all of us, something we can relate to, or at least understand or get involved in. Look at Moonlight. It does all of these things. It does them incredibly well. In under two hours, Barry Jenkins takes us through this incredible story that raises questions about how we treat others as human beings, about the criminal justice system in the United States, about racial inequality and LGBT rights, and an entire range of issues and ideas and topics and thoughts and feelings. He gives us the story of one boy, Chiron, but it's not just about one boy, it's about so many others who are just like Chiron. And whether or not you particularly have been in that situation or can or cannot relate to it, you understand through the story what the character has gone through. And it makes you think about the ideas and the questions that Barry Jenkins brings up in his film. Then, to the fullest extent, Jenkins uses every aspect of this medium. The result is a powerful piece of art that challenges its audience, raises questions, and capitalizes on its art form. In fact, Moonlight realizes the power of art, the power that Greek philosopher Plato recognized. So, I think Moonlight provides a perfect representation of what a best picture is. Of course, it won, so... I guess it does. Best picture. Of course, just because a film wins the Best Picture Award from the Academy does not necessarily mean it is the best film that year. It does mean that it is a film worth seeing. Worth seeing because it contributes substantially to film art and to our culture. And that's all the more reason for watching an Oscar-nominated or Oscar-winning motion picture. So, I urge you to attend a showing of Moonlight. This weekend, it's opening in close to 400 new theaters for a total of 1,500 across the U.S. See it in the theater, see it this weekend, and then come back and let's have a discussion about it.